no friends here we have a module XL 4050 and this one can do the back converter and by you turning this potentiometer you can adjust the output voltage but the problem is there is no current control this is only CV or current or voltage control not current control so for doing the current control we can use this IC and using an additional up amp amplifier circuit we can do the current control the circuit is very easy here in the pin 2 of this IC it is feedback pin and we just connected the feedback pin to the circuit this is an operational amplifier and the main thing in the circuit is this one this is a shunt so whenever the current goes to the load there is a voltage drop in this uh, shunt and then that voltage drop will be compared with this compressor and that uh, this compressor will output and the output goes back to the pin 2 or of this IC which is feedback pin and that is how we can control the current so for example here I have I have uh, put about 15 or 16 volt from my power supply and I have adjusted the output voltage from this back converter to 10.4 volts so whenever I connect my load you see the voltage has dropped this is because of the current control so whenever there is current goes to the load there's a voltage drop and when it's compared with the compressor it will put an output which decrease the PWM or pulse of this IC and that's how the voltage will be dropped very simple and very easy circuit as you can see we can adjust the current by using this additional uh, potentiometer as you can see let me adjust it to a little bit more as you can see now it is 0 0.33 ampere and you see the voltage goes up so if i decrease the current you can see i'm decreasing the current to twenty milliampere twenty amp and you see the voltage drop and the load is not as high as before let me show you this one with the load you see i can control the current of the load how much current should go there's also one benefit of the circuit yeah, I set the current to 15 amp, uh, 0.15 amp, and the voltage drop. Whenever I change the voltage, the input voltage, the current will not be changed. So this is a very stable circuit. And as I said, there's one more benefit of the circuit. Let me show you whenever I remove the load. Let's see the voltage well to the normal you see 10.4 you can also adjust the voltage you can control both the current and the voltage both without any problem so whenever you short it it will also protect the short circuit you see here whenever I short it See the voltage whenever I short it, it goes to zero and check the current. Whenever I short it, there is no current, it's protected against short circuit. 
So this is my modification for this module, which will help us to control both the voltage and the current. And this is a very, very simple circuit. I will share the circuit of this modification, and you can use it with with back converters. I think this this circuit, this type of circuit, work with most of backward boost converters. There is a feedback pin for all of them, and you can use such a circuit to control the current if there is no current control with the module. Hope you guys learned something. If you have any question, let me know in the comments below.